so now we go and down see it downloads here this is our form so we open it by double clicking and the form opens here it's in a zip file format so to open up zip file formats in programs like winra 7zip winzip and any other that you can use to open this so after opening this now we need to open this it1 uh, individual residence return form it's an excel sheet form and excel sheet opens yeah good it opens well then there's a security warning macros have been disabled you have to enable macros so for us to edit this document or write into it you have to enable the content so you just click enable content for those who are using word 2010 uh, it's different from the one I'm currently using but still you have to enable macros or in any other uh, MS Word uh, year format that you have or fashion that you have so now we come and on, we start filling this form first is your pin number personal identification number and as you can see the form has so many other pages that will be opening all through as you can see the mirror down highlighted so we just start with the first one and uh, the first one here I have to use my pin number I write it normally we return taxes using the previous year that just ended so if this is 2016 we return for 2015 so it's normally from the first day of the year to the last day of the year that's from January 1 to uh, 31st of December the same year so uh, type of return if it's the first time you're doing this it's original but if you made an error you have to go and use amended but so I believe most of you are doing it for the first time so you use original and then uh, we come here now return 2015 and then uh, do you have any other source of income or employment maybe no so you use and given that we're using uh, the given form uh, we're not going to fill on that we just use the pin and form that is provided so you go to next on that that is what you require to uh, just write so you go to next here it gives you the pin of employer name of employer gross pay and uh, allowances benefits and that so we shall start by writing the employer's pin and normally it begins with p you name uh, the company you're working for maybe and then uh, your gross pay gross pay a so we go now to the form and the form has basic salary and then this a this a over here so now we come to the totals here down a which is 282,000 so that is what we're going to fill on this part uh, of the form just copy 282,000 then you go to the next that is allowances and benefits so we check on our form does it have that our form doesn't have benefits on this column b and nothing on allowances no values of quotas so the total gross pay finally should be 282,000 so let's see our form again so here we are just going to uh, to write zero you can't just leave it blank so next move to the next uh, side and then uh, it is net value of housing our customer didn't have housing as you saw for example or you didn't have uh, the value for housing you can not see it written on this form uh, remember you are filling as per this form so if you have uh, housing allowances you have to fill it but as per this form which is very common to most of us it does not have it so you go on and uh, so move to the next so pension is in excess of 300,000 so let's see the pension for on our form pension it's not pension for this person is 2400 and it shows up here the retirement contribution so you really the person does not have excess of that so you write zero and then here you just also fill zero and then now uh, you find that the, now the total employment income becomes 2,000 which is what we saw in our form that after every uh, the total gross pay is 282,000 then we go on filling the form uh, we don't have any other so we just go to the next 
now we fill on uh, and play a pin again we just uh, there's a drop down main here and then you check on that something you just repeat on Kenjian as our company of uh, employment then taxable salary on our form this taxable salary taxable salary is chargeable pay it's called chargeable pay also so it is 279,600 so that's what we're going to fill in there 279,600 279,600 and then uh, taxable salary taxable salary is normally uh, a sum of relief plus per year so if your form doesn't have taxable amount just use the per year plus relief so for but for this person the figures are provided as 977.60 so that is the amount recorded and then we go to per year per year is also given per year is 24 0 that 360 24 0 that 360 24 0 that 3.60 and if the difference of the two gives you that in 944 yeah so that's true so on that page you done then you move to tax advance there is nothing we record there payment credits we have nothing to record as per the form so you go to tax computation on this last page you start by giving the pension contribution which we found here to be the center center column e2 or it's also given here as retirement contribution 2400 so you just record that red and then uh, you click outside and then we go to personal relief personal relief is given personal relief from our farm it is personal relief you see on this k column and it is 13,944 so 13,944 is what we record on our excel sheet 13944 and you click outside so let's see what's the tax due yeah very good that is 0 0.40 so now when we've done this we've recorded everything and so we have to validate you click on validate and you give it time to validate it takes some time uh, also point to note is that not all farms are the same as this so there are differences normally but this is a good sample so our form is validating finally it finishes and our sheet is ready for upload then you say yes then it will generate the compressed file uh, zip file and then uh, you save it Make sure that you know where it says or you can you you check on this and you remember it will save that's in my documents so that's fine so now you're done with filling the form and you can now close it down and close it so this form is filled very well so now let's go to the other part of uploading that which you've just done so 